Glory to the Sweden Empire, or the future Scandinavian Empire. Welcome back, everyone. We are here in this episode of Arsenips where, basically, I declared war on Novg Novgorod in a very crucial time when they were doing nothing. Um, got my got my boats butts kicked again. Really starting to hate that, guys. You really got to figure out what problem is here, and... Um, debating if I should assault this? No, I'm not debating, guys. I know I shouldn't assault that. So I'm going to move a good proportion of my army over here. And we're basically going to be spreading out our soldiers as much as possible. Keeping them kind of close by. Because I don't know where the main Novgorodian army is. I know they can raise about 11,000 men. Ah, uh, just from a quick, like, ledger search. Like, oh my goodness. This takes a while. Do 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 do. There we go. There we go. Armies, and then all the way down to Novgorod. Yeah, they really gotta have like a search button like right back here. But yeah, Novgorod. Oh no, wait, they have only six thousand. Dang. When I checked this like off screen, they said they had like eleven thousand. Now they have only six thousand. Really? Shoot, I really wish I had more claims on them right now. This would be awesome right about now. We could just like, I don't think I can start claiming things once I'm already there. Like that'd be cheap if I could. Yeah, I was about to say, it'd be very cheap if I could start claiming things. Ryder though, uh, has no possible problems in a fabricate claim day. So you have to definitely attack people that are right next to me, otherwise it's not gonna work. Um, I guess let's just start fabricating claims on Norway. Uh, let's get the illustrious province of Beslan right here that way maybe it'll round up my empire once I gain a lot from Denmark like Denmark I'm planning on taking so much from them Novgorod is making lots of troops but the sad part is, is that I'm already destroying a lot of their land all right my troops conquered these northern colonies let's go down to Ostland Dest I'm not sure and I don't remember if these three are colonies either I'm not going to risk it quite yet, but I do have a max, a better army than Novgorod. Novgorod's going to get destroyed in this war if I really let them to. <sighs> and also, Lithuania is just kicking the butt out of Muscovy. I'm kind of sad for that, but at the same time, I'm just kind of like, yeah. Kind of expected that. Okay, so let's see. Is this a colony? Okay, so they're coming after us. Shoot. Let's see, when they're going to reach September 19th. Can we get out of here in time? Any way we can get out of here. Okay, basically any basically any way you scratch it, this guy's, these guys are dead. So I'm just going to delete their unit. They serve faithfully, but they had to be destroyed because you know what? We have to do this. So I'm going to be watching the Novgorod, what they do. Okay, they're sending the troops right over there. Let's see. They're going to reach it October 7th. Um, I'm going to divide my army. Um, let's see. You guys go right there. When are you guys going to get there? Should be enough right there. Food storage. Okay, I'm going to de detract to like 2 1 speed. Okay, let me group all these guys up. Ooh, that's a little bit close to number values. Okay. Let me divide this army one more time. Just in case if they try to go like do some cheeky business here. I want to make sure I'm still sieging them down though. Alright. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now they're not. Now they're not gonna attack. Good. Good. All right. But that army right there is kind of scaring me a little bit. I'm going to decrease speed to like three. We're just gonna run and see what happens. I don't. If they just move the army right here, then I'm hoping what they're gonna do is attack Lithuania. Cause they can't get to this province right here without going through Badlands, which is basically they have to attack either this army or that army. And with that, I will send another good proportion of my army. I'm hoping. Actually, I'm hoping they attack this army right here because that's actually going to help us even more. The army's mainly composed of a 7, 5,000, 4,000. 
they're gonna arrive there the 14th so we want to make sure we are not too late to the party so let's see where you guys are gonna get there 16th will that be enough time please tell me they're stupid enough to do it they're stupid enough to do it oh yeah damn okay never mind stay right here okay I kind of don't want him to attack me because that's actually gonna be terrible for me yeah, yeah, this is gonna be terrible for me. I mean, like, divide up my men again. Send one soldier over here. At least, okay, at least evenly, we might have a chance. Evens, evens should be able to win the day. Yeah, and with this one soldier just randomly in there, there we go. All right, kill as many as you can. Kill as many as you can. Do not stop killing. Do not stop killing. Yay! Do not stop killing! The best battle ever, everyone. The best battle ever. We are slaughtering them. You know, I was kind of worried there for a little bit. Um, basically, what we're going to do is... Because we all... I'm kind of worried, guys. Just a little bit. Because we right now don't have enough um, army to be doing that much. Because look at our manpower. So, I'm very grateful that we do have... You know, this happening. What? How did they get away from us? Okay, uh, let's see. Where are they going to? We'll arrive in... Alright, hunt them down. I don't care how you guys do it. Just make sure you guys kill these guys. Alright, these guys are not being able to finish the siege because it's... It's too big. Understandable. We're hunting down the rest of this army, so I can't really, I can't really like send any troops to go help yet. I need to go kill the rest of this army, and then we can um, start helping them. Cause look, once this army is all dead, then they basically have no troops left. And we can basically just rest. Ah, dang. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Come on, face them off. Yes. Okay, now we can. I can go send these soldiers to go help that siege. And now we are basically now just in a very long and tedious... Not really tedious, but basically we are now just going to be ripping up their land. And that was a war with Novgorod, everyone. Mm. I mean, it is possible they could come back and try to steal something from us. But likelihood of that happening... Oh, and they just made a troop right on top of me. Good job. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna help support this blockade, though. Over here. Wow, they just attacked me with, like, 16 soldiers? Wow, that was stupid of you guys. I mean... Yeah, that was really stupid. Okay. I'm gonna, like, divide up some of my army. You guys go right there. You guys that stay behind. I'm gonna try to make sure I hunt down all the rebels. I'm going to try to keep a good amount of soldiers right there. You guys go right there. Keep Siege should start continuing here soon. Let me send these sides right there. Okay. Yeah. We want to make sure we kind of keep a good... What I'm basically trying to do, guys, is try and keep a good global look at everywhere. Make sure we don't lose any perspectives. All right, let's go. Let's just stay right here. So we want to make sure we keep whatever army that's going to try to build up in that place. Okay. Like, whatever army is going to try to build up, we don't want them to keep it more than three soldiers. So, let's do that. And once the time comes, I'm going to send both soldiers to go after them. Yeah, they're retreating right now, which is good. Probably because Novgorod has a province it has back. And we just gained the Gulf, which is a good sign that we're winning. All right, and they're right now, whew, they're losing pretty badly, because now we have a definite hold on them. In fact, I could probably move these guys to go actually group up with over here, because now since Novgorod is being attacked by the uh, Olympians, oh, they can move through there, really? Oh, dang, they must have military access. And I have a rebel. Really? Oh, it's on a little tiny island that no one cares about. Okay. Well, the people that are on the island care about it, but... Yeah. Okay. These guys should fall any time now. They should fall any time now. I mean, we basically siege them long enough. You guys are basically all done in your province. 
Yeah, they're almost done. Just have to wait. We have gained the conquest cause better. Okay, yes. Okay, good. Now that we have two free diplos, I'm gonna add some more land to both Normandy and let's see, let's claim Finsmark. Denmark, let's claim Mid Midland. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, it's not it's not exactly smart to be doing all this at once, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a conflict with these guys, so it's good to claim it all now. Well, I still have a chance. Okay, good. I thought they couldn't move through this land. I was like, that's a little bit unfair if they can really move through this land to like, you know, because it's not literally it's not really their land. It's owned by Lithuania. If they had an alliance with Lithuania, maybe. Mm. And right now we're just taking over. Yes, the siege of Navarra is over with. And now their army is the basically the ship just got forced to go attack us. That's awesome. And now we have 20 war score against them. Which is even more awesomeness. My king, our agents have been discovered. Whatever. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Okay, I'm gonna go combine both of these guys' army right here. Both of these guys' army. And we're gonna go send them down here to go kill these guys. With that, I should be able to just basically win this out. Because I mean, it's, it's, it's over now. It's over. We have the province in hand, and the army's just basically all dead. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, they're basically gone. <laughs> These guys are basically done with. So let's see. Would you guys accept my peace deal? And I want two provinces from you, Novgorod. I'm not accepting some... Novgorod is the war leader. Can I negotiate with them? Oh, you have no diplomat to send, dang. Well, let's see, who do I not want? Well, I don't, I don't really have to claim these guys, so... We can cancel them. Okay, we're gonna get our Diplo back. We're gonna see if we can declare peace on these guys. Oh my goodness, that really does stink. The Russian, the Russian Patriots right there on your land. That must stink. Okay. Uh, let's see, we have our Diplo back. Okay, I'm gonna sue for peace. Wait. That's not what I want, actually. Super Peace is actually the wrong option. Let's discuss diplomatic terms. I want this. And I want this. And I want as much money as you can give me. And let me see if I can do anything else to these guys. Force religion? No. Let's just take as much as we can. Okay. Alright, well this is as much as we want. This is what we want? Yes, this is exactly what we want. So let's send demands to them. And everyone, it is done. We have taken just this little tiny force from Novgorod. It seems like something small and puny, but in reality, it's a good step to where we want. And we have just achieved another great banter. We have just gained a little bit more recognition inside the Novgorod claim. We have just claimed a little bit of Neva, which should give our control over this uh, over this place a little bit better time. So let me start making this a core by the way. So we want to make sure this is all core. Yeah, everything else spend 50 to, to culture Swedish. If I could do that here, that'd be nice. Because <laughs> This is kind of annoying, having colonies that aren't really travel time. Yeah, you guys are just kind of annoying. But yeah, guys, well, thank you guys for watching. This was an awesome episode. We conquered a little bit more, and yeah, this is just gonna, this is gonna be a long and great Let's Play. And England, what the heck happened to you? Peasants took you over. Oh, wow, England. You guys seriously need to get your your land together all right well dang peasants just peasants took them over that's sad that's just seriously sad so anyways guys thank you guys for watching see you guys next time don't forget to comment and subscribe see you guys next time well, i was like how close am i that okay but this is like the perfect time to strike at these guys while they're still weak while they're still preparing for a war that won't ever come this is like the perfect time
have my soldiers already stationed right here. And since Denmark, as you guys can see through your own eyes, Denmark's army is already defeated. So if we do this, we basically, we basically destroy right here. Have our army stationed right here. Already, they, they will not be able to do anything to us. Like, we'll be able to just take over this. And what we could probably do after that is, if we want to, we can just go after a major conquest of that. And since Normandy is not making any army, this is a smart decision. Let's go. Only allies with them take Kane. My allies won't join in. Kind of expect that I'm being a pretty aggressive person right now. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Sklane. Move my troops in position. Keep them blockaded. I don't really... I actually don't really have to, uh... I just realized this. I don't really have to, like, do much... Uh, movements on my army because... Alright. Just keep my army divided. I'm gonna wait until the Teutonic Order is done with whatever they're doing. And right now, now we'll just siege. And apparently Normandy just raised up an army. Why does that always happen when I think I'm about to win? Well, not about to... Uh, that's the wrong word. Right about to do a good, awesome siege. Okay, well. This is where we build up our own army again. So do you have enough? Okay, I know I'm overextending myself. But I really don't care. <laughs> With most of Denmark's army being harassed. Off! Oh, where did that come from? Sure, why not? Okay. You guys, retreat, retreat, retreat. Retreat. Ah, oh, dang. We're dead. We are dead. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> oh, man. Let's take some loans. Alright. Let's actually start supporting our troops. Okay. Let's begin. Ah! Uh, somebody please tell me those guys are getting out of there. Yes, my troops are going back. Man, I thought you had to see basically... Okay, we got a reconquest something. What the... What the... You know what? No. I can't retreat them. How did... I got two questions in this matter right now. Yeah. First of all, how did they get across there? How did they raise that much army? Why are they not defending their own land? Why are they hunting down me? Okay, well at least I'm fighting back with all I got. All I got isn't much. Yeah, I'm basically destroyed. Oh, dang, another war. Another, like, war. Okay, guys, so it seems like I made a slight big mistake. Uh, I didn't realize that uh, we have a little bit more time than I thought we did, so... Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think there's anything else to say, so I messed up, I don't, we actually are not supposed to end this episode for a little bit longer, and before I do anything, I'm going to do a couple things, one, I'm going to fire our financial advisor, and I bet you guys are thinking, why James, why, well, because he's costing us way too much, he's costing us C62 a month, and that's, you know, I like it, financial advisors, but that's too much, and plus, I want to get another one, which I'm going to get a, um, national morale, or national to national manpower because we need to get our main problem right now is Sweden is our national manpower is pretty bad um, what else I'm going to do is I'm also going to yeah that's basically it for now we basically have everything I need to do I need to wait for my diplomat diplo to return we gotta believe we have lost our conquest against Novgorod yeah and then I'm sending my ships to make sure they do not get across to my own land because I don't want them to get across to my land that would be pretty sad alright let's see we also need to how many loans do we have we have no loans good I th for some reason like for some reason I was thinking we had some loans I was like oh, I have to pay back my loans now and then yada 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 but we don't have any loans hooray we are good 
So bull, the bull. Ah, oh, dang! I can't say that word. And I just clicked on the, on. The, oh shoot! Where the heck did those guys come from? Oh shoot! I was not gonna. Ah, barnacles. Stay right there. No, why did you? Oh, good. Actually, my my friends are helping me. Although I think I lost most of my army in that attack. Oh man, that actually does stink. Oh man, that 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 says no, guys, stop! Don't move. Oh my! <laughs> I can't believe you on that. Okay, guys, my mistake. Um, we're not supposed to end the episode yet. That is way too short of an episode. Way too short. So, guys, consider yourself lucky. I'm going to extend the episode a little bit longer than usual, a good amount longer. So, I'm gonna also be. So, basically, guys, I'll tell you my strategy now. I'm going to be basically crushing these rebels, and with my diplomatic options, I'm going to be trying to increase relationships with one of these guys over here. I'm thinking I might increase relationships with, like, France or someone. But then again, France is going to get into a lot of wars, and I don't want to deal with that. Like, I'm going to be, I want to be kind of, I want to have a good ally, but I don't want to have just, because I know my, these guys are a pretty good, like, ally of sorts, but I want a better ally. <laughs> Basically what I'm saying. So I'm going to find someone that is good. I think these guys would be the best. Because same religion. I mean, they already have a really good modifier with me. The rivals are the Teutonic Order. Or I could get the Teutonic Order. They might be a really good alliance. Like, Because I'm not going to go to war for a little bit. Enemies. Oh, and the enemies are Denmark. And all I have to do is, since Denmark is already, like, one of my personal, like, diplomatically evil people. Well, not, they're, they're not evil. Don't, no one ever go around and say that Denmark people are evil. I'm just saying they're my, they're like my main rivals right now. So I have to kind of figure out how I'm going to deal with them. Also, I'm also going to stop getting this guy, because this guy is, somebody's probably commented by now, is too dang expensive. Right here, I'm going to get a really good, cheap administrative tech advisor, because... We just don't have the money, and I'm going to be a national modifier guy. And with our expansion, I'm going to put our fleet down to half. I'm going to keep my army up to full. Also, with our administration points being so high, I'm also going to... Did I already start coin, or did I not? No, yes, I already started coin. Good. I thought I didn't. I was like, Ugh. Yeah, we already started coin. That is good. We also have all these rebel problems going on right now. Province history, but yeah, it just... Just the things I have to go. So I'm going to... Let me just figure out where my diplomatic options are. Wait, no, no, no. Diplomacy. Diplomacy. Diplomatic. Wanna look at me diplomatically. Alright, there we go. I'm going to establish one more rival, which is going to be Denmark. And again, there's two reasons why you want to establish rivals. To make more friends, and to make it so that when you conquer them with cores, you can easily get the cords. So it's like a twofold reason why you want to do that. So um, that should make an alliance with these guys pretty much possible. I mean, they should be definitely thinking about it. I don't think I can get an actual royal marriage with these guys. Because I don't think they're actually a country. Yeah, they're a monotheistic state, so royal marriages are out of the country. Does not allow royal marriages as they lack monarch. Yeah. But if I th think... Let me see. Alliance options... Form lines, you have no diplomatic sense. All right, I think if I finish this correctly, if everything lines up, we should just barely have enough to offer an alliance with them. And once I have Teutonic Order on the back of me, like once I have the Libyan Order, Teutonic Order, all of them with me, then I'm basically going to try. By the way, this is not my. You are not enemies of Teutonic Order, right? Yes, you are not enemies of Teutonic. Oh no! Not the dreaded comment event. Oh, why, Paradox? Why? I know. Give me one second. I'll boost it back up. Boost. Yeah! There we go. Alright, and then we have some heretics who are trying to seize out all my stuff. I'm going to try to intervene. I'm not sure if I'll be able to int get there in time. Come on, go, guys, go! Save the province before it's completely seized down. Save it. Yeah! Now kill the guy that did the stupid rebellion. Stupid. What's his name? Espion said this. Sir, this son. 
Sudasan? <laughs> what a silly name for a person of your stature. You should be called Sir Rebellion Person ish. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> I don't I don't know guys. I'm not good with names, so I'm gonna combine all you guys. I'm gonna move you guys to the coast. And basically all we're going to do is sit here and enjoy the fact we aren't at war. By by preparing for war. If that makes perfect sense. So let me first see. Let's see. Yeah, you see, look how close those guys are. We just need like maybe just one influence boost. Uh force a white piece between the target country and we will join the war on the influence. Uh improve relations. Just get a little bit of if we just get a little bit more, we will basically have an alliance with the Teutonic Order. Um if I remember correctly, their army's about eleven thousand, right? Yeah, off screen guys, I start trying to like memorize my uh, enemies' countries' armies because this gets a little bit this gets a little bit chaotic keep clicking through this, like seriously. Wait, is there a quick don't tell me there was a quicker way to do this. Militaristic. Oh my goodness! So they did actually create a quick way to do this. I'm just an idiot and didn't realize it. Oh man, I actually feel like such an idiot. At least I figured it out. Like I said, everyone, I'm a very newbie to this entire game. I'm nowhere near as good or as fleshed out with this game as I am with other games. So, still though, I feel like that is just something I should have really looked up. So let's see. S, Serbia, Switzerland, Teutonic Order. See, about 12,000 guys. They're stronger than us. I hate to admit it, but they are stronger than us. So let me do this. Um, I'm basically going to try to let my manpower reserves heal now. Because they kind of need to heal. There we go. And... I think that's an end of, the, end of this episode. So, now I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.